In this lecture, we will see a different type of Six Sigma belt system. We have these levels in Six Sigma white belt, yellow belt, green belt, black belt, and master black belt. A new person starts with the white belt Six Sigma certification. This is the first level of certification. In this level, you will learn the basic terminology of Six Sigma. In some organizations where Six Sigma is implemented, the white belt is mandatory for all the employees. After the white belt, we have Six Sigma Yellow Belt certification. The yellow belt is for beginners. The people who really want to get engaged in Six Sigma as a beginner go through the yellow belt. So, the yellow belt basically supports the project as a team member. The next level is green belt certification. People with green belt part time work on improvement projects. They can lead small teams if the project is of less complexity. They can lead the team and they can mentor yellow belts. Whereas people with the black belt are full time engaged with the improvement project, a general understanding is that a black belt will be doing three to four projects in one year, and with this, they would be saving at least a million dollars per year. That is the level of expectation from a black belt. At the top of this is the master black belt. Master black belt's main role is to train black belts and other belts in the organization. Usually, you would have a very limited number of master black belts in an organization.